G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, it's Friday evening here in Australia and despite all the kind of chaos with uh, the, the elections and things like that, Bitcoin and look, even regular markets, they're just continue to go up at the moment. So yeah, it's weird how right before the elections happen, uh, they dump and we still don't even have an answer uh, and they just start to go up. I mean, cryptocurrency has been going up for a little while but you know the stock markets they were down and then all of a sudden they're back up again so yeah such a hard thing to read and yeah i'd love to meet some you know so-called experts and see how well they pick the market uh, it, it'd be interesting but let's have a look market cap we're almost at 450 billion i can't believe literally like only a couple of weeks ago we had dropped down to Oh, 300 billion, you know, like it just, it got so low. We were up around 450 billion, you know, a couple of months ago. And then it just had that big drop. And now it is just rocketing. Now have a look at that. Bitcoin dominance, 64.1. We're nearly at that 65%. Uh, and I think we will hit that very, very soon. Uh, gas prices come way down, which is really, really good. And we can see Bitcoin, 15,431. Now it did get up to around 16,000 and then uh, has pulled back a little bit, but uh, you know, quite a good run. Ethereum, we're nearly back to $450. Uh, it has moved quite substantially, which is really good. Not as much as Bitcoin. Bitcoin's really been kind of one of the biggest movers, but yeah, good to see uh, some of the coins moving. What do we got? Tether. Well, Tether's only going to do what Tether does. XRP back to 25 cents. So not bad for te uh, XRP, but, you know, it's, you know, depending on who you listen to, it moves the last, but it moves the hardest and the biggest. So we'll have to wait and see. I've got a bag of XRP. I'm hoping that it lives up to the hype. Uh, be a shame if it doesn't, but, you know, that's the way it is in investing. Not everything's going to win, uh, you know. You only need one or two good winners and they make up for the losers. Not that I'm saying XRP is going to be a loser. I'm still in profit. I got in at a pretty good price. But yeah, it really has, I think the highest that's gone is maybe 26, 27, 28 cents uh, that I know of. And yeah, regularly sits around kind of 24, 25 cents. Bitcoin Cash, it's still down over seven days. Chainlink, uh, good to see it's uh, moving and got back to, you know, we can see it had a sort of hefty correction there. Let's have a look. What are the big movers? Uniswap. Oh, good on you, Uniswap. Thank God you've come back. <laughs> Aave. As I said, all these uh, DeFi plays. I did a video, uh, you know, only a few days ago, saying I think they've pretty much hit the bottom. And sure enough, Synthetics Network. Have a look at that. They have hit. Uh, they did hit their bottoms. I mean, look, that could change tomorrow. Who knows? But it looks like they've found their bottom. And, you know, for Yearn Finance, you can only hope so. Uh, Decentraland, nice uh, move. That's good. Ren coming back. So definitely some good movers. What about losers? I think it would be pretty hard to be losing at the moment. But let's have a look. Yeah, really, they're not losses. You know, Numeria minus minus, you know, 2%. That's nothing. So very little in the way of losses. A lot in the way of gainers. So I am waiting to see what happens uh, with this BTC. I'm quite sure it's going to get to 65 percent it could go to 75 percent i'm just not sure now we'll refresh this there's a lot of enthusiasm in the market and look i'm enthusiastic and long term you know i'm definitely enthusiastic i don't want to throw any fud and get you know people thinking oh there's going to be a uh you know he's fudding and it's going to go you know he thinks it's going to go down and go to nothing i don't think that but this is a concern we are at extreme greed. This is usually when there's a pullback, but not always, because what can happen, and particularly when you're in a bull run, it just keeps going. Uh, it, you know, this doesn't guarantee, but this does basically just gives me caution anyway for the short term, not the long term. The long term, you know, I'm confident uh, we've been in a bull run for quite some time and it's just going to continue and it's only just getting started. But let's say, you know, if you're going to put in Let's say you got hundred dollars. You're going to put hundred dollars into Bitcoin today. You just need to be ready that it might only be worth, you know, maybe thirty or fifty dollars in a couple of days' time, because it is quite possible that we have a, you know, not a severe correction, but but a reasonable one anyway, where maybe you know you can lose up to sort of thirty percent uh, of any gains. Now, not thirty percent of your total if you've been in it for a while, but again, if you 
got in it today and you know you bought it at fifteen thousand four hundred and all of a sudden tomorrow it's worth i don't know fourteen thousand or maybe even twelve and a half thousand uh, you, that would really hurt you but you know if you understand the markets and you're in it for the long term then you should know that yes it may have dropped back fairly severely but you know over the next kind of few days or week or two you're probably going to uh, have made money and again personal opinion not financial advice but let's have a look at the chart so Aave I spoke about Aave the other day and we can see where it found support on old lines of resistance so this was an old line of resistance here and this time is where it found support and again you know we have a look at the sell-off from the high to the low that's a 77 percent correction and I did say on my video the other day, anywhere from sort of 65 to 85% is what you know you would call a, a, a reasonable and somewhat expected correction for altcoins uh, in a bull market cycle. You won't get that in Bitcoin. Bitcoin will do you know maybe sort of 30 to possibly 50% uh, uh, pullbacks, but it's not of its total price. It's just of its cycle high because again, this isn't seventy-seven percent of you know a, a Aave's total uh, price. This is just of the profits that it's made. So let's go and have a look at SNX, and I picked it almost perfectly, not exactly perfectly, and I didn't have to. And look, I didn't even sort of do my swing trade on it perfectly because I wasn't sure. But we can see. So I said, you know, it's probably going to come down to around sort of two dollars sixty. So it came down to $2.46. So I wasn't too far off. And look, I bought in at $3.01, I think it was. So I bought in around here because I just wasn't sure, you know, if it was going to find some support here. And I was just hoping that if it went lower, it would find support on this line. And it pretty much did. So when I bought in at $3.01, uh, I'm already in profit. But look, I bought some synthetics a little while ago. It's sort of, I think, $4.16 or something like that. So I'm not in profit on that. But the bulk... Of what I uh, bought of my synthetics network was way back at sort of 84 cents so you know I'm well in profit there but we could see that eventually there's always going to be a correction unless projects are seriously dead in the water they've just got nothing left they're going to bounce back and in cryptocurrencies and particularly the altcoins you know a sort of reasonable retracement is that 65 to 85 percent not of the total price just of you know it's cycle high you find it cycle high and you see it's going down low you get your measuring tool and maybe this hasn't even gone all the way down you go all right this was the cycle high and i'm going to measure down to here we go this one only got down to almost 70 percent so again you could go down to sort of 85 percent if you wanted and that was basically down where i drew my red line as well so this is where it could have gone but again that's not a guarantee you, you've got to you know make a decision and for it to go to here i would expect to see more severe drops again this was coiling and coiling and coiling and it got to here and i just thought well i'm guessing that's probably going to be a good indicator of where it's going to bounce from and it almost did perfectly it just didn't wait until it got all the way to here so for anyone who's new in the space now you know a reasonable correction for altcoins when there's a bit of a pullback it's anywhere from that kind of 65 to 85 percent mark sometimes they don't correct uh, that much because it's not what we call you know a bigger correction they might only correct you know 20 percent and then you know in a couple more days time they've gone up another 40 percent from there but when there's a reasonable pullback it is generally that kind of 65 to 85 percent uh, retracement that you can expect to see and again these lines I put in these lines first before I put in this line and that's how I worked it out because this was just came down to here and I was like all right it's got a pattern they don't always follow the pattern to the exactly and this didn't either it dropped down below uh, and broke a little bit lower but it was pretty close on the mark so I'm pretty happy with how that's played out don't get me wrong it could turn around and do something different and this is just on the US dollar chart now the reason I've gone the US dollar chart uh, for some of these and I'm not going against Bitcoin is because they've been outperforming Bitcoin Ethereum for me has outperformed Bitcoin. Uh, I'd have to go back and check if it still is. I'm pretty sure it has only just. Um, Synthetics Network has way outperformed Bitcoin. It has been my best performer bar none. Uh, I've had others, a couple of others that were pretty close. Chainlink's done pretty well. What else? I think uh, Aave's done pretty well. Uh, so yeah, they're sort of my ones that have done 
uh, that have performed better, but I didn't put anywhere near as much into them as I did Bitcoin. Bitcoin was my biggest holding. That's around about sort of 30 to 40% of my holdings. And again, you know, it's not like I've got hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars invested in cryptocurrencies. I just don't have that kind of money. But I've put in what I can uh, and yeah, they're performing well. So let's move on. Synthetics Network, again, you know, the charts basically can show you what to do if you understand them, but they're never 100%. I just drew these lines following this. I got this point down here and I said, rightio, this is already a pretty big move. And then I chucked this in and I did that and I came down to here and I said, all right, well, that's about 65%. That's a general sort of retracement. And then, yep, it could come down to 75%. So there was chances it comes down to there. And you can see it's almost matching up with old, you know, resistance or support. And then you come down to, you know, the full 85%. And this isn't full 85, but pretty close. Uh, and that's how I got that line right there. But also, it married up with old support and resistance. So for anyone who's trying to work out how to do, do charts, and not that I'm an expert or anything like that, that's ways that you can sort of, you know, get an indication of where you think uh, things might go. And we need to remember that, you know, as long as you're in the same mind as me, we are in a bull market. So this was never going to just roll over and that was it. Uh, you know, we've still got plenty more upside to go if you believe we're in a bull market like I do. That's not financial advice. I know I have to keep saying this, but I just need to make sure people understand this is just my personal opinion from my time in the markets. And I've been in since 2017, so I've experienced the highs. I got in really late in 2017, so all I knew was, uh, you know, euphoric markets for, I don't know, maybe five or six weeks, maybe a little bit longer. It was uh, end of September, early October, I think I got in. Uh, and everything was euphoric right through until about sort of uh, late December, January. And then, wow, it all just turned so fast. And, you know, I turned a couple of hundred dollars into about, I think, $4,000. And then that $4,000 uh, by the end of the uh, bear market literally was down to about $200. So I think I'd lost, you know, five or $600. So <laughs> I've experienced it all. Uh, and uh, it's interesting and you know again I'm glad that you know we're now back in this next bull market and I have that experience and that knowledge to help guide me through so yeah let me know uh, if you uh, have been able to sort of draw charts like this and they've been able to give you an idea or you just completely sort of you know a, a complete uh, newbie and just uh, unsure of how to do it and again I'm no expert this is just you know from a bit of time in the markets and again I just drew the lines following the patterns and you know they pretty much gave me the answer but that doesn't always play out all right I'm going over myself uh, there let's move on so ethereum this played out almost to a T off that trend line that I spoke about this is the trend line that we'd had for a really really long time and we'd been above it and I was you know unsure if it was going to break and then we got to here and I thought oh well maybe it is gonna break uh, and roll over and we come down and sort of test, you know, 330, 340, or maybe even, God forbid, you know, come back and test $250. Sort of but uh, it bounced right off it, and now look at it go, $439. Getting back to that $450 mark, and I think this is going to continue to go uh, upwards, and most cryptocurrencies are. I think the exuberance is there. You know, there's talk of more stimulus coming. I don't think we're going to see any really heavy retracements from our cryptocurrencies anytime soon. But that doesn't mean we can't. Again, I have to go over here. This is really, really high. The chances are high that we will have a retracement, but it's just not guaranteed. And at the moment, I just don't see it happening. Uh, you know, there's particularly on Bitcoin, uh, but it's not to say we won't have somewhat of retracements. I mean, you know, let's say this one, it could easily roll over and maybe come back down to sort of $410 over the next few days or something like that. Or it could just completely keep rocketing through. So let's go to Bitcoin. Here we go. So as we can see, it actually tipped 15,900. So almost 16,000. And look at that move. Now, it is possible that we're going to come back down here, and I've said this in other videos, that you know we'll probably break out and then it'll roll over and come back and test 
uh, this kind of 13.8 level. Now, there's no guarantees it comes right down, but it's also possible that it comes down, breaks below, and we travel below here for a while before breaking out. But look, there's also the possibility uh, that this just, you know, kind of stays around this kind of mark before it rockets even higher. Because if we really zoom out, there's very real little resistance from where we are until we get to the cycle top. So there you go. There's maybe a tiny bit sort of, you know, a bit of confluence around here. So around the $17,000 mark. And geez, we're not too far from there. And then it is just straight to here. So we just have to wait and see. It is the weekend. So traditionally, uh, the crypto markets will have a sell-off over the weekend. It can usually happen some sort of from sort of Thursday night, but also right through to Monday morning. Uh, it's not like it's an exact science, and sometimes it just doesn't do it. So you know, if you're investing uh, into cryptocurrencies today, just be mindful that there's every chance we might have a retracement. And now again, let's have a look. Let's get the marker out. We're here. So if we come back to here, so we could have a. Uh, 13% retracement. What happens if we come back and test this? A 20% retracement. So that is quite possible. A good retracement from Bitcoin will do sort of 20, 30% in a bull market. I'm not saying that's what it's going to do. And I think it's highly unlikely. Again, I think institutional buyers are in. And I heard something that Grayscale bought three times more Bitcoin last week than was mined uh, in that week. So again, they're still buying. And if they're buying at these prices, that's got to tell you something. They still think it's dirt cheap because they're not going to be buying it at, you know, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, I don't think. They're getting in now while they know it's really cheap and before this uh, run comes. Uh, and yeah, same with uh, micro strategy. Wouldn't surprise me if they're not buying more and there's going to be other institutions that are. PayPal's already getting on board. We know about that, you know, uh, Square Cash App, they've already gone, gone out and bought some. So, yeah, I think this is going to continue. This kind of line like that will continue. This might kind of pull back and, again, bounce. So if we do a trend line and we sort of go from here, this is the resistance we were trying to break, and we sort of go like that, I think this line is going to hold. I think, you know, we could definitely roll over and come back and sort of, you know, bounce around sort of in here, but I think this line is going to hold for quite some time. But we'll have to wait and see. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, and I can guarantee I'll be wrong again in the future. No one knows exactly, but gee, things are looking promising at the moment. All right, I won't take up any more of your time. Uh, hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. I do daily videos, and I'm always giving out you know, my thoughts on the markets and how things are going. Uh, put some ideas down. If there's something you'd like me to cover, a particular... Um, a coin or something like that or my thoughts on something I'd love to get uh, you know some fresh ideas uh, my ideas are obviously limited to you know my ideas so if you can you know give me some pointers and some tips on some things that you'd like to uh, for me to cover or hear about or you know I can do deep dives into uh, yeah that'd be great all right stay safe be kind to one another we all should be on that great gain train at the moment it really doesn't matter what you're in it's pretty much all going up and I'll see you next time.